kit consists of a servo clamped onto a block of wood and the cord is attached to a bucket at the bottom which I fill with bags of lead shot. We've got a voltmeter and ammeter, a switch arrangement, the receiver and a 6 volt battery. This is a high tech 785 servo. A measuring tape is used to check the cord travel. A clothes peg is clipped to the cord and adjusted to zero with the cord fully in. The servo is moved to its fully out position and the travel is recorded. To check the drum rotation, a marker is placed at the top dead centre with the cord fully in. If the joystick on the Spectrum DX5E is pushed hard over, the zero point moves. The drum is rotated to its fully out position and the position recorded. A second quadrant scale marks the position fully out. Firstly, with no load, record the current and voltage at rest. This is the holding current. Then record the current and voltage with the cord being wound in. This is the running current. Now we need to measure the drum rotation. It's at fully top dead centre and it's wound it right out. It's the same as the measure before, so we're right. A half kilo bucket has been added. Record both currents and voltages. Now record the fully in and the fully out positions. Fully in. Now you can see it's 10 degrees out. The fully out is on the same mark. We've now got one kilo. Fully out position. Okay, let's take it fully in. We now have 20 degrees. Fully out. And it's pulled 20 degrees farther out. Two kilos, pull it in. Stopping about 30 short. Wind it out. Pulling it about 30 degrees again. Three kilos, wind it in. Fifty short. And we're again about thirty-five long. Now we carry on, but if we go much farther, we stand the risk of burning it all out. I've now put on a more powerful server, misleadingly called digital. All servers are digital. The noises are the electrical pulses going to the motor, even though it's stationary. This is a three kilo load. Hold position. You can see it's much quicker and much noisier. And it will get hotter. 